Hi guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge. Now normally on these Bunches of Lunches videos, I like to share exactly what I pack for my kids' school lunches. But today's video is going to be a little bit different because we're on fall break. So all of the lunches I'm showing you today, I served at home. Good afternoon guys and happy Monday. Now on Mondays we normally do PB&J day. PB&J, that's right. But today I made it a little bit different. I actually made a peanut butter banana roll up. I just took a regular tortilla, spread some creamy peanut butter all over it, and then I just rolled a banana up in the tortilla and then sliced it. Now if you're looking for a treat, you can try this with Nutella instead of peanut butter. That is really good. Now to go along with that, I'm also serving a carrot salad, but this is basically just a spiralized carrot. So I just took my carrot and used my little spiralizer to make sort of like noodles, like carrot noodles. And then I just put some ranch on there. Over here I have some turkey pepperoni that I put on a really cute little pick just to make it fun. And then we have some red grapes a berry lemonade, and a string cheese. So, really fun today, I hope the kids like it. Does it look good, Kenzie? Yeah. All right, here you go. Thanks. Okay, here's how they did. Overall, pretty good, although I did have to convince them to eat their carrots. They were not big fans of the carrots. What'd you think, Mackenzie? It was yummy. It was yummy, what was your favorite part? I like the banana roll-ups. The banana roll-ups were tasty. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon guys and happy Tuesday. I just finished making the kids lunch so here it is. Today we're having some popcorn chicken. These are just the ones that I get from Costco. The kids really like them. You guys like them? Yeah. Yeah? Should I put some ketchup on here though? Yeah, you probably I, should. I forgot the ketchup. But with the chicken I'm also serving some grapes. I have some really large red grapes. And then over here I have a good amount of sugar snap peas. I'm really gonna try to increase the vegetables this week. Are you guys excited about that? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Oh good. So I want you to eat all your snap peas. Okay. And then these guys. Kenzie, do you know what these are? Yeah. Have you, you haven't had these in a while. These are actually dried mango pieces. So it's kind of like nature's fruit snack. Yes. Now to go along with our chicken, I did make some homemade ranch and I added extra dill this time. So it should be really tasty. And that is it, that's everything. Are you guys ready to eat? Yeah! Okay, here's Kenzie's. Oh, here's you. Lily's. Jack. Lunch time. Okay guys, we'll show you what they eat when they're done. Okay, here's how they did. Overall, I think they did really well today. Mackenzie, what was your favorite part? I loved the chicken. The chicken nuggets were good? Yeah. Yeah, but Jackson left a few of his snap peas and a tiny piece of his chicken in there. But you ate everything and so did Lily, which is amazing. I also love the grapes. The grapes were good? Yeah. Now you guys got extra time today since we're at home, so I think that really helps give you enough time to finish everything. See you guys tomorrow. That's right. Good afternoon guys and welcome to Wednesday. Now today I have some really cute corn dog mini muffins. So I started by throwing together a really easy cornbread recipe. And then I took some leftover hot dogs and sliced them up. Now the trick to making these is you definitely want to use a mini muffin pan and you want to spray it generously with some nonstick spray. Otherwise these guys are not going to come out very well. So I put my hot dog in there, cover it with cornbread mixture and stick it in the oven for about 10 minutes. Now the trick to getting these out of the pan is I like to take a spoon and go around the mini muffin before I pop it out. And then usually it'll come out really nicely. You could also make a huge batch of these and stick some of them in the freezer for the future. These reheat beautifully in the toaster oven. Now to go along with our mini corn dog muffins today, I'm also serving some ketchup because I feel like you have to have ketchup with mini corn dogs. And I'm also serving some steamed broccoli, which I've just put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. I think the kids will really enjoy it that way. And then I also have a little cutie. And over here I have a half of a granola bar. And these are actually the new gingerbread Christmas edition granola bars. I know the kids are gonna love those. Okay guys, it's ready. Does it look good? Yeah. Okay, eat it all gone. Okay, here's how they did. Now I have Jackson with me. Jackson, what did you think? It was good. What was your favorite part? Mm -hmm. I like the sausage muffins. The little corn dog muffins? So Kenzie ate everything, and you ate everything except for a teeny little bite of broccoli 
And Lily left a few things. She liked to peel the cornbread off of her hot dog and she left one little piece of broccoli. So overall, not too bad. Good afternoon guys and happy Thursday and also happy Thanksgiving. So my whole family's coming over at five. We're gonna be having an early dinner, but I still needed to feed the kids and I didn't wanna feed them too much. So here's what we're having today. I'm starting off with an, well, it's pretty much an Uncrustable, just the organic version, and this is basically PB and strawberry jelly. And with that, I'm also serving some blueberries, some strawberries, and a vanilla yogurt. So not too much today because I do want them to eat Thanksgiving dinner with the family. So that's it for today. Okay guys, come and get it. Okay, here's how they did. what do you think about these sandwiches, Mackenzie? Were they just as good as Uncrustables or were they different? They were different. They were different, but was it different in a good way? Because I can see that Jackson didn't finish his and Lily didn't finish hers. So was it good different or bad? Um, probably them, probably like a slightly different because they almost ate everything. They almost ate like half of theirs, but I ate all of mine, so I really like it. You thought it was good? Yeah. Well, these guys must not have been so hungry. We did just get back from the movies. We saw the movie Coco this morning and they ate a lot of popcorn. So I guess it's okay. Good morning, guys, and happy Friday. That's right. Today is the day after Thanksgiving, so of course we have some leftovers for lunch today. I just gave the kids a tiny piece of turkey, literally one bite of green bean casserole because I know they're not big fans, but I would prefer for them to eat it anyway. And then I also gave them just a couple of bites of mashed potatoes, and I actually think these are really good. And then over here, we had quite a lot of appetizers left over. So I gave the kids a little cracker with a square of smoked cheddar cheese. My brother makes this, it's really good. And then on this little cracker, this is kind of like a Triscuit cracker. I have some of the cheese dip that I made. And then of course we have some blueberries and strawberries. So not a huge lunch today. The kids did have a late breakfast, so they shouldn't be super hungry, but hopefully they'll eat it. I might have to convince them to try the green bean casserole. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here's how they did. What'd you think, Mackenzie? It was really good. What part did you like the most? I liked the the rich kind of crackers and and the cheese. The cheese. Well, which part did you like the least? The well, I didn't really like the green salad. The green beans? Yeah, I figured you wouldn't. But I like them. I think they're really good. All right, thank you. See you guys next week. Okay friends, if you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Now if you'd like to see last week's video where we actually took lunch to Disneyland, you can click on the link right up here. And if you'd like to see my first ever video of Bunches of Lunches, you can click on the link down there. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can click on my face right down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.